I'm Karina Del Rosario. My students call me Miss Karina. Usually I'd be in the classroom uh, teaching art or in a museum doing some art activities there. But today I'm coming to you from a studio so you can still make art wherever you are. How are you feeling? I've been kind of fidgety lately, very restless. Um, and sometimes when I'm feeling that way, I like to make uh, some quick drawings. It helps me get some energy out. It helps me focus on what's right in front of me instead of having my mind go buzzing around all over the place. So one of the artists who gave me inspiration for using that technique is Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden is one of my favorite artists. He was born in 1911 and he lived at first in North Carolina with his family, his great grandparents, his grandparents and his parents. But when he was a young person, I think like three years old, his parents wanted to leave the racism that was in North Carolina during that time and seek out opportunities for themselves in New York City. So he moved there and grew up there uh, and continued to live there um, in the neighborhood of Harlem in New York City. And he would go sketching around his neighborhood. He would sketch the block that he lived on, the buildings there. He would sketch musicians who were performing at different nightclubs during the Harlem Renaissance there. So he would just always sketch. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to uh, just do some quick sketches focusing on lines and shapes. What you'll need is uh, either a notebook or a piece of paper and just a pen or a pencil. I'm using a notebook that's a little bit darker pages because it's a little, for the, a little easier for the camera to see rather than a white page. So um, the picture that I chose is of a Chief, Chief South Trail near my house in uh, Beacon Hill. And in this picture, you can see that there are some grassy parts, there's a winding path, and these electrical towers. So again, I'm just gonna use my pen on my paper. I'm gonna use this big one just so it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm just gonna focus on lines and shapes. So I see some quick electrical towers here. And then there's some lines going this way. I'm not gonna worry about getting it too exact. I'm, it's sort of like visual note taking. So sometimes if you're taking notes, you're, you might not be capturing every single word. And that's the same idea here. You don't have to capture every single detail. I'm switching pens because some of them are a little bit drier than others. So here's kind of my, the grassy part. And then over here is, I'm doing a curved line to capture the path. I see a square and a triangle for a house. Another triangle, cause I'm just seeing the top of a house. Okay. So I'm just using shapes. I'm not worrying too much about some about the details. Um, looks like I have some trees over there. Okay, so it's just a very rough sketch. So I keep a bunch of those sketches in my notebook just so that I can look at um, them for ideas for other art projects. Now, like I said, Mr. Bearden liked to think back to other important places in his life. So he would think about what life was like in North Carolina with his great grandparents. So um, sometimes he would just draw from memory. I'm gonna draw from memory uh, of my grandparents' place. So I'm gonna just flip the page here. Um, I was born in the Philippines and I left when I was six. So even though I was only six years old when my family moved to the United States, I have very vivid memories of my grandparents' place. So I'm gonna draw you what I remember my grandparents' house to look like. 
there was this wall that was right at the sidewalk and then it's a low concrete wall and then there was a fence and it was one of those um, wire fences or gates. So I'm just doing some curved lines and then there was this gate here that kind of would swing open. And then over here, my uh, grandparents' place was pretty small. So I'm just using a rectangle and then a smaller rectangle for the door. Um, here's on this side was the living room. In uh, Tagalog, which is the language that my family speaks, it's called the sala. Um, over here on the side of the house, there were some chickens. So there were a couple chicken coops here. Um, on this side of the front door was uh, where I would take a nap in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, what I want you to do is think about some places that are important to you in your life. It could be where you're sitting right now. It could be some place you've been that you can't, um, that you either have pictures of or you have very specific memories of. I want you to uh, use lines and shapes just to draw that. Draw a few different places that are important to you and then keep it in your notebook, keep it handy because we'll do an art project next time with those sketches. So I hope you come back and join me. Again, my name is Miss Karina and I'm a cultural worker and visual teaching artist here in Seattle. Thanks for joining me.